Hello and welcome to the second part of my next War Korea tutorial playthrough. I am playing scenario Seoul Train, which is first of the standard scenarios. And in the first video I talk a lot about rules and I started uh, turn 1 of this scenario and I went uh, through the entire turn 1 and today we are starting with the turn 2. Well, South Korea suffered some uh, heavy losses, including 1 two, two divisions, one brigade, one combat helicopter, and one combat outpost. Uh, North Korea lost one, two uh, light infantry brigades, and one uh, armored brigade. So, each side uh, already suffered some losses. I think that uh, South Korea suffered, uh, <coughs> suffered more casualties, because these are uh, divisions, and also they have a smaller number of units, so it is uh, harder for them to replace them. While North Koreans have uh, more units, but they are attacking and they are fighting in the heavy terrain, so they have to mass a lot of units to gain breakthrough. Okay, let's start with the turn 2. And according to the standard sequence of play, we have to start with weather phase. And now we have to make a roll to see what kind of weather we will have. It is 6. 6 is uh, overcast. I don't think that overcast rule, uh, weather is going to uh, make any effect in this scenario, but I need to check to, just to make sure. OK, it has a massive <laughs> effect on the uh, IS staff, actually. First, we have to have an air mobile points avail available to each side. So uh, we, uh, North Korea only has uh, two air mobile points, so now they have one. And now, a site indicated as having limited all weather capability has its air points halved. A site indicated as having no air all weather capability has its AP uh, uh, quartered. Okay, and all uh, Attack helicopters can perform only a single mission in a game turn. So, these helicopters uh, cannot perform two missions just like they did in the turn one, but they, have, they can only perform one turn, one mission per turn. Now, this, this really limits our options. Okay, with, next we have a supply phase, but like I said before, I don't think there will be any, any supply issues in this scenario. And next, we have initiative air naval phase. Now we have to check how many air points each side has and do we have to change anything. This is game turn 2. So, according to the chart, North Korea has 2 and S South Korea has 1. So, oh, uh, they have to quarter, quarter the, their uh, air points because North Korea has no all-weather capability. So I think they will, they will have one and they will have one. So it will make our air points... Let me check. Okay, here they are. And now air advantage is contested since each side has the uh, same number of air points. Uh, this is, uh, uh, we are going a bit away from the scenario rules, but I think it is uh, good to show you how this weather stuff works. Okay, that's all when it comes to the <coughs> air points. Next we have to roll for sea control. No, we are not rolling for sea control in this scenario. So, uh, next uh, mine clearance again, nothing. And we are mo moving into initiative movement and combat phase. So, North Korea has an initiative in, the, in this turn, so they have to make their move. First, I am going to use these air cushion vehicles to move my light infantry unit here. I don't have any light infantry here, sadly, because <coughs> I can move two uh, light uh, infantry units uh, per uh, segment with these air cushion vehicles, but no, n no more around. So that's all for this uh, brigade. And now all these units. I think I will at continue to attack this po position with uh, these units of the 
fourth North Korean corps, but I would like to what I'm going to do is to first I need to spend one uh, movement point uh, to leave enemy zone of control and then I'm moving here and then here I don't have to spend another uh, uh, movement point for uh, because of and sorry <laughs> I don't have to pay for uh, movement uh, pay for leaving enemy zone of control since there is a river around so this is just a normal movement one and Two. Okay, so that's what, what they are going to do. And now these two divisions. One, two, three, three and a half. One, two, three, four. Okay, I will have a lot of units here to attack this position. Hope it will be enough to uh, gain something. Uh, these uh, armored units are waiting uh, for their time to shine when I break uh, uh, South Korea uh, defensive positions. And now I'm uh, about this uh, place. I think I will use this light infantry. Hmm. Oh, I can uh, I can always try to move this light light infantry here to use these air cushions. And give uh, some other light infantry unit, but this is from different formations, so it will it will uh, give us a negative modifier. Ha ha ha! Decisions, decisions. Okay, I will use this light infantry here anyway. So that's all. And I don't think I'd I. Uh, oh, maybe one, two, three, four, five. There, there are only one, one stacking point uh, units here, so that I can have four of them. Okay, so that's all for uh, North Korea. Yes, that's all. So we are going into the combat phase. I will start my attack here. I am attacking to the river, so all they, they, they all have their strength halved. So it's four, eight, twelve. Uh, 12 plus 4, 16, and 2, 18. So it is 18 against 5 and 9. So it is perfectly 2 to 1. Let's go with a 2 to 1, and we are attacking into the marsh. Next. I will use this uh, light infantry unit as a leading force because of this, this 6 uh, combat efficiency. So it is 6 against. Huh. Both of these units have only one, uh, one stacking point. So uh, I think I will use this brigade instead of uh, as a leading force. So it's 6 to 5. So, uh, uh, so we have plus one because of this uh, uh, combat efficiency difference, and uh, now we are attacking into fortifications. So we got minus two. It is one and a half to one as our final odds. Now let's go for modifiers. This is pretty important attack, so I'm thinking of using at last one air point to support it. So let's make a roll for air uh, stuff. Now where do that? Here it is. It is three, and we have minus one for uh, armored unit on this hex, and we are in the two hexes range from airfield. So we have minus three, so it's zero, and zero means airport minus one. So air point is not working for North Korean side they have no modifier. Is uh, South Koreans about to use uh, their uh, points? Hmm. I think they are pretty all right here, so no, they are not. Go they, they are going to keep it for later. And that's for air stuff, and next for all the other modifiers. Uh, attack from 5, 6 hexes, no. Attacking from 3 hexes, yes. We are attacking from 1, 2, 3 hexes, so uh, North I used wrong counter, so Nor uh, North Korea gains minus one. Next, attacking in Highland, mountain infantry, no. 
light, light infantry attacking in non-flat, non-flat wood city terrain. Yes, uh, this is uh, marsh, so we get minus one. Good. Mm -hmm. Reminder of the initial odd calculation. No, it was 18 against 9. Enemy in the airfield, yes, uh, or town, sorry, yes, the, here is a town, so we get plus one. Mountain infantry, no, multiple formations, no, other stuff, no, but we are in the uh, DMZ, so there is another plus one. So we have zero modifiers, and all we have to do is to make a roll. Three, not bad. It is one, two. Oh my god. And I think this is the be one of the best results North Koreans wanted to gain. So they have to suffer one loss, and it was a leading force, so this light infantry is going to be wiped away. Well, light infantry is definitely a very vulnerable uh, kind of unit, but uh, South Korea suffers two losses. So this brigade was a leading force, and it, it, it has one step only, so it is gone. And this uh, division has only to suffer one step loss, and it is its second step loss, so it is eliminated. Very good. We are entering this hex with these two divisions. Okay, that's what I wanted. Notice that these hexes are not DMZ anymore, so there are no fortifications, no this nasty minus two, no this nasty plus one, so... I think that our mechanized units will be able to make their way to the sea will quickly. Okay, now here I have I am attacking into the uh, through the river with this unit, so it's one, two, and six, and they are attacking uh, uh, no through the river, so they have sixteen, so it's six plus sixteen, it's twenty-two, twenty-two against eleven, so it's again perfect, perfectly two to one. But we are attacking into Highland. So this is this column. And now, who's going to be my leading force? This light infantry again. And they, it is 6 against 6. No good. No, mo no modifiers. And now... Uh, no, sorry, no column shifts. And now we, have, we are uh, attacking into fortification. So it's minus 2. So it's 1 to 1. Ooh. Sounds bad. And next. That's all when it comes to the column shifts, yes. So we are going into the uh, modifiers. First, air stuff. I will use these combat helicopters for North Korea. Oh, again, again. Minus one for mechanized unit, minus two for uh, airfield, so it's minus three. So our he combat helicopters suffer a loss, so they are eliminated. Bye bye. And South Korea. I think South Korea is going to use their air point as well. Let me roll for them. Three. No good either. Uh, it was contested, so it's three. Oh, okay. It looks like we made it. And let me check one more thing. There are no uh, armor. No, no armored units around, so we don't have modifier. Yes, we made it. Uh, South Korea gets plus one. Nice. Okay, any other modifiers? Light infantry, yes. We, are, we have light infantry attacking in the non-flat woods, uh, so uh, we get minus one. Now, attacker in the airfield yeah, or town. Yes, this is an airfield, so they get plus one again. And uh, they are in this D DMZ, so they get additional plus one, so it's now plus two. Hmm. It sounds very bad for North Korea. Let's make a roll. Oh, hell. The worst result possible. It is nine plus two, so we get eleven. Oh, hell. It is three, one. <clears throat> so, no South Koreans have to suffer one step loss. And North Koreans have to suffer three step losses. So this unit is eliminated because it was a leading force. And now, one, 
two and three okay this doesn't sound good yeah okay that's all for this combat and I don't have any other attacks to resolve so next we have elite reactions uh, sorry elite reaction units uh, segment so I can move any of my uh, South Koreans that have six seven or eight combat efficiency but they uh, they, they don't have they cannot be in the enemy zone of control luckily they are not so what I'm going to do they cannot attack they can only move I think I will move these Americans here just trying to stop these uh, North Koreans from coming deeper into my positions I think this position is about to uh, hold for a while well I cannot move these units either but I uh, but I think I, uh, they they will make it and that's all for this segment next we have exploitation movement segment so uh, no, uh, North Koreans can move again and I will move these two divisions here now this air cushion unit uh, sorry this light infantry unit uh, moves one and two three uh, four to move into this hex okay so still we will have we, we will have it here mm, as for these units well I don't think that they have they, they stand a chance uh, against uh, this position I would like to replace them with something stronger but sadly I don't have any good uh, infantry units I have only mechanized units that are good when it comes to breaking uh, positions in the uh, clear terrain but not when they have to attack through the river uh, uh, marsh etc so I will move this sniper brigade here this light infantry brigade here and I think that's all okay um, this brigade cannot move here because I have already four stacking points here so that's all maybe I should just move this mechanized corpse here and that's everything I can do okay next we have exploitation combat segment and we have to remember that uh, if I am going to attack in this segment I will have to add uh, this uh, negative column uh, column shift so what I'm going to do I'm thinking about attacking here I have 16 and plus 2 so it's 18 against 5 so it will be 3 to 1 but they have 7 and so and they have this nasty column shift so no I'm not going to make it it could be a uh, use uh, but sorry I'm really struggling with an idea of attacking here this is very tempting uh, because if I would be able to damage seri seriously this American Brigade my uh, way on onto the sea will, will be much easier but I, I, I am afraid that uh, my infantry divisions that are quite strong uh, might suffer some really serious losses and that's something I would better uh, like to avoid hmm. okay I'm not going to attack decision is made I'm not going to attack I am moving right into reaction movement segment so uh, uh, no, uh, allies can move okay I hope this brigade will keep this position and here this is uh, uh, I don't have a chance to replace this unit this is mechanized division so to replace mecha mechanized division I would need uh, let me check I would need uh, three uh, 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 replacement points and I don't get uh, that this number of replacement points in this scenario so uh, if, if it's going to be it is going to be eliminated probably so I need to keep this division I will move it here because this is a DMZ so it is better to keep uh, this position and this div uh, 
and uh, this division is going to uh, let it stay here. It will keep this position. It will uh, keep this position, and as for them, now let them stay here for a while, for a little bit later, for a little bit more, and. I'm still thinking if it was wise to move it here because I have if this divi is this brigade if this brigade would be eliminated, uh, and not Kore uh, not Koreans would have open way. So no, let it stay here just to make sure. Okay, that's all for exploit for the uh, reaction movement. And do we have any reaction combat? Again, it is tempting to attack this uh, uh, North Korean uh, light infantry with these uh, two units, they have 10, they have 2, so it would be 5 to 1 and uh, 6 to 1 because of the combat uh, efficiency but there is still a small chance that I might suffer a loss and what uh, uh, North Korean, sorry, South Korean player wants is to avoid as many losses as possible so no, I'm not going to attack I will stay where I am defending my homeland or well, maybe not even homeland, <laughs> but my allies' homeland. So that's all when it comes to the reaction combat segment, and we are moving into the basic movement and combat phase. Okay, time for North Koreans to move. Hmm, attacking here would be one, two, four, six, ten, fourteen. It would be 14 against 5, so it would be 2 to 1. <laughs> Still not enough. But I have, to, I, I have to make it, so they will attack here. This would be another risky attack, but let's try. They will try to attack here. I don't have any light infantry to move uh, with these air cushions, I believe. These are only mechanized units here, so no air cushion movement for them. So that's all, no, no, no movement actually, all we have to do is to attack. So, first here, I have 8, 16 and 18 against 5. So it's 3 to 1, it is flat woods. And now, I'm going to use this unit as a leading force, so it's 6 against 7, so it's minus 1, it's 1 to 2. And I think that's all when it comes to the column shift. Yes, that's all, co that's all column shifts we have to make it. And next we are going to calculate our modifiers. Uh, well, North Korea have no air options available, but uh, um, Americans are going to call for their cl close air support with these uh, combat helicopters, so I am using them and have to make a roll. 3. It is 3 in the, con in the contest, so it is alright. They get plus 2. Uh, we have to remember that, that due to the overcast weather, they can only, only be used once per turn. So, there is plus 2. Next, uh, do we have any other modifiers? I believe no. I, yes, uh, oh maybe, wait. This is light infantry, but uh, they are attacking in the clear terrain, so no modifier for light infantry. And this is a town, so we get plus one because of the, of the defending in the town. Okay, so it's plus three. That's why uh, I thought this attack might be uh, hard. Okay, so let's make... Oh, and plus one because of multiple formations. So it's plus four. All right, six. Six, it is uh, minus one, minus one. So Americans have to suffer one step loss and this uh, light infantry brigade is done. Oh, this is really a massacre for light infantry in this battle. Okay, and uh, now here, I am going to make another attack on this position. So I have one, two and uh, it is uh, two, it is two so it's four six ten fourteen it is fourteen against five so it is uh, three to one sorry two to one two to one in the highland 
and now we have uh, we will have also minus one because of these initial odd calculations. But first, first thing first, uh, column shifts. Uh, we have light infantry attacking here, so it is six against five, so it's plus one. Uh, we are attacking into fortifications, so it's minus two. And next we have to make four uh, die roll modifiers. First I'm going to roll for these combat helicopters from this sniper brigade. Oh well, that was bad. And this is contested, so it's one aboard. So no combat helicopter support for us. And uh, not, uh, 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 South Korea calls for their own combat helicopters. Three. Yes, they gain plus one from the combat helicopters. Okay, any other modifiers? We have light infantry attacking in the highland. So it's minus one. There is an airfield here, so it's plus one. And <clears throat> this is uh, plus one for there is plus one from DMZ. So it's plus one. And now we have three formations. This light blue, white, and navy blue. So we uh, there is plus two. No. No good. Okay, so let's make a roll. Okay, that was pretty good roll. We get zero plus three, so it's three. It is minus one, minus one. Hmm. Yet another uh, light infantry is going to bite the dust, but this division is eliminated. And because we eliminated enemy uh, units, we can to take uh, this hex. So I am entering it with this group. Okay, so at last it wasn't bad. We made our way and we managed to surround uh, this uh, division. Also, these Americans are pretty weakened, so all in all, it's not bad, despite some uh, heavy losses among the light infantry. Okay, so that's all when it comes to the combat. And next we have second movement segment where uh, allies are moving. And now... Hmm. This unit suffered some losses, so I would like to move it here into this city. This uh, division goes into DMZ. And this division is surrounded. It cannot move here, because there is enemy zone of control. And it cannot move here. And this is one of the situations when rules uh, uh, are not perfectly clear. Since there is a rule. If allowed by the segment, a unit that begins its movement phase in, in an enemy zone of control can move directly to another enemy zone of control by expanding all of its movement point. So, I take it that uh, you can move from the one enemy zone of control into another, but you cannot move inside the unit zone of control. And this unit can only move here or there, but this all these two he bo uh, both hexes are already in the, in the enemy zone of controls of the same units that already have this unit in their zone of control. So, uh, my guess is, I am not 100 perfectly certain about it, but I think that this, uh, uh, that's how it works, that this unit cannot move on any of these hexes because they are already in the same zone of control, uh, uh, of the same unit's zone of controls. So, okay. So they are surrounded, they cannot move. And I don't think that any of my uh, 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 units can move more. Uh, maybe this uh, division will take this place. Why? Because uh, there is a, a town. So it will give us uh, some modifiers. And we want to stop uh, North Koreans from coming uh, deeper into our territory. So that's all for the uh, Allies movement. And they don't attack anywhere, so that's all for the uh, for the uh, unit actions in this in the turn two. Next, we have reorganization phase. So we have to flip, or rather rotate. Sorry, rotate our helicopters. Now we have to reset air points. 
we have no uh, tunnel markers, we have no uh, clearing operations to conduct. And that's all for the uh, reorganization phase. And next we have reinforcement and replacement phase. We have no reinforcements and when it comes to replacement, uh, South Korea gets one and North Korea gets none. So, uh, we have one uh, point, so uh, can I do anything with this one point? I can get this uh, Light Infantry uh, Brigade uh, back into action or, let me check, how much I would have to pay... Yes, uh, I can't move, uh, I can't uh, bring any of these Infantry Divisions back because it would cost me two points. So all I can do is to bring this uh, unit back into action and it starts uh, uh, weaken it. So uh, I think I will get it into seal and that's uh, everything when it comes to the replacement. And uh, this concludes uh, turn two. We have nothing, nothing else to do around so that's, uh, that's all for the turn two and we are going into turn three. Okay, we are starting turn 3. First we have to make a roll for weather. It is 1, so weather is clear again. That's good news for, for, not, for allies this time, because they are going to have more uh, air points. And next uh, we have a supply phase. And this unit is out of supply, so we have to mark it with out of supply. Supply rules are uh, optional, you don't have to use them, but I think it is uh, good uh, to use, uh, use these rules. They are not very complicated and they are making a, bat a battle uh, quite different. Okay, they are out of supply now. This is not a big deal uh, for now, uh, because uh, they don't have their defense, uh, uh, defense strength uh, weakened. Uh, they, only their attack uh, power is uh, halved, but they are not going to attack anywhere after all. So next we have initiative A and naval phase. Let's check for air points. This is turn 3, so according to the chart, North Korea gets 1 and South Korea gets 2. So That's how it goes. So I forgot to mention that this is turn 3 and uh, as for air uh, superiority it is contested so just like in the turn 2 next uh, no C stuff so we are moving right into the initiative movement and combat phase because this is turn 3 and again in the turn 3 North Korea has an initiative uh, make, it makes me wonder if any of you uh, has uh, World War I uh, déjà vu with this battle, since we are really uh, making to the enemy uh, fortified positions, both sides suffering heavy losses, and uh, there is a very uh, limited space for any maneuver. That's, uh, that's my feeling every time I play this game. And uh, uh, so what I'm going to do... I still have to get rid this, of this division. I have no other options if I want to use my mechanized forces finally. And I would like to make uh, my way uh, here. So, I think I will make one massive attack <coughs> here with these units around. And these two divisions are going to attack this South Korean division. Okay, let's start here. I have... Uh, 8 and 8, so I have 16 against 8, so it's uh, two, clearly 2 to 1 in the clear terrain. I am not fighting into uh, DMZ uh, or fortifications anymore, yeah. Uh, they both have 5, so no uh, column shifts. So this is clear 2 to 1. Next, uh, modifiers. Uh, I think I'm uh, not going to use one air point of uh, North Korean air, air, air Force. Six. Okay, it works, so I get minus one. And uh, that's all. Now, uh, North, sorry, South Korea. 
I think uh, they are going to use one point either. Three. This is contested, but uh, I think they made it. Ma made it. Let me check just to make sure. Three in the contested. It is all right. So it's again zero modifiers. And any other modifiers? Uh, let me check. No, 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 no. Yes, they are in the town. So it is plus one. And that's all. Let's make a roll. Okay. That's good. We have one plus one, so it's two. It is minus one and retreat. So they have to suffer one step loss and ha they have to retreat to hexes. One, two. And I will move only one division here. Why? Because I want to keep this division uh, to uh, hold this uh, South Korean uh, division into trap. Okay, and our second attack is going to be more complicated. I'm going to attack uh, from all these three directions. So it is going to be eight, 4 and 4 because of the river, so it's uh, 8 and 8 again, so it's 16 and I think I'll, I'm uh, okay, using this brigade will give me plus 1 because of the uh, light infantry and possibly another plus 1 because of the combat helicopters but the, it will be another formation but I have another light infantry which belongs to the same formation so no, this sniper brigade is not going to be used so it was 16 it is uh, 18 and 22. So let's put it below. I'm not using it. So it's 22 against 8. Oh! I should use it anyway. Why? Because I would have 24. And if I would have 20, uh, 24, I would have 3 to 1. But now I will have 2 to 1. Okay, that was my big mistake. But decision was made. I, t I said that I'm not going to use it, so no, I'm not using it. So it's just 2 to 1. I am attacking in the, in the roof uh, woods. So this is this uh, table. And we have 2 to 1 and minus 1 for initial odds. Okay, any uh, modifiers? Uh, sorry, any column shifts? First, I am using the, uh, this brigade as a leading force, so it's 6 against 5? No, against 4. Because if unit is out of supply, it has its combat efficiency reduced by 1. So it is plus 2. Good. And minus 2, because we are attacking into fortifications. So nothing changes actually. And now modifiers. First, we are attacking from 3 directions, so it is minus... Oh, sorry. Air Force first. First a, a Air Force and uh, North Korea has no Air Force so uh, uh, available so I cannot use it and South Korea calls for the combat helicopters. Nine, they made it. So it is zero. Okay, so now other modifiers. I am attacking from three directions so I get minus one I have light infantry attacking in the roof woods, so it's minus two. And now uh, there is a DMZ modifier, so it's uh, minus one. And I have two formations, so it is zero. Okay, that's all. Let's make a roll. Oh, nine. These South Koreans are defending pretty high pretty hard. 9, it is 2 to 1. So this unit has to be first suffer a, uh, suffer a loss. And this division is going to be next. And these South Koreans are suffering one step loss. Okay, that was brutal. And this concludes this uh, attack. Next we have Elite Reaction Movement Segment. So, any uh, uh, South Korea units are going to move? Uh, well, only these two units might move, but th this one is in, in, in the enemy zone of control, so it cannot move. And this 
-hmm. Nope. I'm not moving, so that's all for the elite reaction. And next we have, we have exploitation movement segment. I am uh, leaving this unit's enemy zone of control and I'm entering this hex. This is uh, one for leaving uh, enemy zone of control, two for entering this hex, three for entering this hex, and four for entering another unit's enemy unit zone of control. Okay. They are moving here and they are entering enemy zone of control. Nope, sorry. They are entering, uh, uh, staying, they are moving here, they are staying where they are, you will see why. And this brigade moves one, two, and three for entering enemy zone of control. These three brigades are moving here. Okay, that's all when it comes to the North Korea exploitation movement. Oh, I can move here. Okay, sorry, I forgot about it. I, I can still move one hex. Oh no, it was sorry, <laughs> sorry, I was wrong. Uh, the, it was enemy zone of control, so I can I have to stop when I enter enemy zone of control. And uh, so no, and they should be here as well. So that's all. And uh, now we have exploitation combat segment, and we have to remember about uh, this um, nasty minus two modifier for attacks uh, in the exploitation combat segment, but still I am going to attack anyway. Because we are getting close to the end, and I need to uh, make my way to the seal. So, I have 16 against 3. So it's 5 to 1. This is uh, roof terrain, yes, this is roof terrain, so it's uh, 5 to 1. And now uh, modifiers. Uh, first, I, they have 6 and against 5, so it's minus 1. Next, we have uh, minus 2 because of the uh, exploit combat. And next, we have another minus 2 because they are defending in the city. <laughs> and now modifiers. Uh, no air uh, staff for uh, North Korea. Americans are calling for the combat helicopter support. No, oh, zero. It is contested, but since it's zero, oh, they suffer one step loss. Okay, not, no good. They cannot uh, provide any significant support. So, any other modifiers? I believe nope. No, that's all. I, all I have to do is to make a roll. Oh, nine. This is bad. It is minus two. So attacker suffers two step losses. Okay, Americans made it. Now, here, I need to get rid of this division. So what I'm going to do is to make another attack, but this time not with these units. Maybe I should try. Hmm. Yes, they will uh, try to attack. So I have 8, 13, uh, 21, and uh, 25. So it's 25 against 4. And it's 25 against 4. So it's 6 to 1. It is 6 to 1 in the roof woods and now I will use this division and this brigade as a leading force so it is six against three. Oh, wait 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 <laughs> do I really want to do it yeah so this is seven to one and now I have minus two for um, exploit combat and that's all when it comes to the column shifts Oh no, they are in the fortifications, so it's minus two. And now modifiers. Attack from three directions, so it's minus one. Initial odd calculation, minus one. 
I don't have light infantry. No, I don't have light infantry. I'm not going. I, I'm not using this brigade. So no light infantry, and uh, plus one uh, because of the mm, DMZ and plus one because of the two formations. So it's a zero and five. It is minus one minus one retreat. So this brigade is done. This division is done. And I am allowed to enter this hex. That's all for the exploit combat. Next we are moving into the reaction movement segment. So allies are about to make their movement. Well, they suffered more losses. So they are not they don't have anything to uh, any units to move. So let them stay where they are. No reaction combat. So that's all for uh, uh, this segment and we are sorry for this phase and we are moving into basic movement and combat phase. Okay, uh, we are moving into the basic movement and combat phase. So what I'm going to do? First I would like to retreat with this division. It spends one movement point to leave enemy zone of control and goes here and it is replaced with this division which is stronger so I hope it will do better and that's all here oh maybe I should do something else yes I have I think I have better idea I will go here so I will be able to attack with all these units this uh, American unit despite being pretty good is also quite weak already so maybe I will be able to get rid of this. Next thing uh, what I, uh, that I'm going to do is hmm, I cannot attack this uh, weak brigade because this division stands on my way and hmm, do I have any, any uh, option to change it? Well all these units are quite weak here so attacking this uh, division it is uh, in the DMZ in the fortification and on the highland so it would be a suicide so that's not what I'm going to do so you guys go here oh I have one more division here okay I should use it one two I can go here yes I can go here because it is one three and four okay so that's fine I am going here and these guys are going right here they can go even here because this is four stacking points so and, uh, let them stay uh, here and that's all I believe no I'm not going to attack uh, with these units uh, not, this is not the best idea so let's r try to get rid of these Americans we'll see if I can do it so I have four 12, 16 and 20. 20 against 3. So this is 20 against 3 and we are attacking in the roof woods. So this is 6 to 1. And now let's check for column shifts. <coughs> First, uh, Americans have combat efficiency of 6, but uh, North Koreans will use this division as a leading force. So it's 6 minus 5, it is minus 1. Next, we are attacking into the city, so there is minus two. So this is the uh, final uh, odds. And now let's uh, check for modifiers. Americans are going to call for the combat helicopter support. Two. Oh, and this is contested. So let me check two in the contested. I believe this is fine, but I need to check. Nope, this is abort. So no no uh, no air support for Americans, and any other modifiers. Mm, this there is a city we are, it was already included, and uh, no air air force uh, for uh, North Koreans. Uh, one uh, formation, so no negative modifiers for multiple formations. That's all. Let's make a roll. Two, mm, pretty good. It is minus one and retreat. Americans already lost one step, so they are eliminated. 
and North Koreans are allowed to enter this uh, Gyeongyang and uh, they uh, they are going to make perform clearing operation to capture this Gyeongyang uh, city so let me where did I put my clearing markers oh here they are now I need a clearing counter got to draw the one randomly and place here all right that's for the basic uh, combat when it comes uh, comes to the North Korea and now we have second movement segment so uh, allies might make their moves okay hmm we have only two quite weak uh, <coughs> South Korea units here and one pretty strong here so this is the question what I'm going to do there, there is one more turn to go and I think I will do something like this uh, they are in the seat in the urban hex and urban hex negates enemy zone of control so I will move this uh, weak uh, brigade here and maybe even here and this division will take place here okay I hope I will I will be able to hold this line uh, till the end of the next turn or right, okay that's all when it comes to the combat I'm not uh, attack uh, sorry I'm to the movement I am not attacking anywhere well my forces are not strong enough to perform any uh, attacks so that's all for the basic uh, movement and combat phase we are moving to the reorganization phase so our helicopters are rotated to the all right stuff now remove air mark points uh, and uh, finally we can conduct clearing operations so let's go to the we have one clearing operation here so I need to reveal uh, the, this marker oh pretty good it is three so this should be nice and now uh, first we have to check uh, how many stacking points we need this is a city so we need three stacking points according to the clearing operations table and we have two three this is enough if we if we wouldn't have enough stacking points we we are still allowed to perform a clearing operation but if we fail we have to suffer one step loss okay and now per addition uh, we have to check for modifiers per additional installation on this hex nope this is just a city uh, <coughs> amphibious assault no air, air, air mobile movement no uh, stack inf includes infantry and armor no we have only infantry a difference between efficiency rating and clearing number it is three and I will use this unit as a leading force of this clearing operation so I have five so it is five minus three so I have uh, plus uh, I have plus uh, two and the difference between stacking points and minimum safe stacking point no I have three I need three so I, I need to roll and add plus two okay we made it this city, this city is North Korean now, so we managed to, let's call it, liberate it. Uh, we liberated this uh, city from the filthy capitalists. I can mark it with North Korea star. And that's the end of this uh, phase. Yes, yes, that's all. Next we have reinforcement and replacement phase. And now, do I have any reinforcement or replacement in the turn two uh, republic of korea gets one uh, uh, no sorry republic of korea gets known and uh, so so south korea gets nothing and north korea gets one so i will use one to bring this division into full status okay so that's all we have no uh, reinforcements so we are we, we can finish turn three and we are moving into the last turn and uh, this turn is going to be different because this is not a initiative turn this is contested turn so no one is going to have an initiative so we will skip initiative movement and combat phase first we have a weather phase so we have to roll for weather zero so this is fine yes this is clear, clear. next supply phase Mm, everything's all right we have no no supply issues next uh, initiative uh, air naval phase uh, so I already sorry so I should uh, uh, wait wait okay 
we have uh, no uh, uh, we have no uh, initiative uh, because uh, of the special scenario rules now we have to check for air points this is turn 4 so north korea has one and south korea has two and this is contested still okay uh, we are skipping uh, naval stuff and we can skip initiative movement and combat phase as well because this is this is not an initiative turn so we are moving right into the basic movement and combat phase so this is the last uh, uh, last phase of uh, of this game uh, last uh, combat and movement phase of this game of course okay i don't, I, don't, I don't think that i might be able to win with uh, north korea uh, because to win i would need to ca take control of at last two hexes of seoul and i don't think i am able to do so because uh, well i would need to beat two, uh, these two units it is hardly p p possible because this division is pretty strong. This one isn't that strong, but there is a river here, so all my attacks into this hex will be halved. So this can be, this this might be a roof. This brigade is pretty weak. I would be able to defeat it quite easily, I believe. But it is in the uh, in the uh, uh, highland hex, so uh, I wouldn't be able to perform uh, pursue it more than one, one hex so hmm, i need to get gain control over one hex of the uh, capital of south korea to get a draw and i think this is where the uh, on uh, 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 this is something i'm going to focus on so i will move this division here this uh, division auto being wicked it moves one and two three four no three this is Highland, and for the infantry, Highland costs uh, two movement points, if I am correct. Yeah, so I can uh, I can go here and I can perform one massive attack on this hex with these two uh, stacks. Not sure if it will be enough. I'm maybe I could. Yes, I should call for some help. And one, two, three. Or five let me check if I can stack yes I can oh wait I'm not sure I need to check yes this is fine only mountain and high mountain has a different uh, stacking limit uh, you can stack three uh, points uh, three stacking points on the highland and uh, sorry on the mountain and high mountain we don't have any high mountain on, on this board mountains are there so I still can have four stacking points here and next i might even try to attack onto this hex now i have only this mechanized corpse uh, here i i i think i i uh, they uh, didn't even have much time of uh, combat in this uh, in, in this game it was mostly infantry combat well it makes sense if you will play the entire game you will realize that the first battles are mostly infantry uh, trying to get rid through this nasty DMZ and when it uh, finally breaks uh, enemy position then your mechanized units might make their way deeper into enemy uh, positions overrun them and so on but at the beginning it is mostly infantry uh, combat that's what I say about uh, having a World War I feeling okay let's go and uh, try to size any of these hexes it's not going to be easy thing let's start here and uh, now i am attacking this civil hex with 8 12 oh 12 uh, 14 18 and 18 plus 8 is 26 so i have 26 against 11 so it is 2 to 1 and we got minus 1 because of the uh, uh, odds so this is uh, 2 to 1 and next I have to check for the column shifts first combat efficiency I will use this uh, brigade as a leading force so it's 6 against 6 so it's nothing good 
And next I have to check for any other column shifts. I believe I haven't any. Nope, we don't have any other column shifts. So that's all when it comes to the shifts. Still, it is not very good. But well, we might, if we'll be lucky. Okay, next let's calculate, let's check for modifiers. North Korea is using the, their single air point and there is minus one for mechanized unit and minus two for the air base in the two hexes range so we have roll with minus three modifier oh it's not it's not starting good it is four minus three it is one so it is abort so no air point for uh, north korea and next i will use these combat helicopters from the sniper brigade again nothing and it is one okay they, they it is just an abort they suffer no losses but <coughs> we achieved nothing and now south korea south korea is calling for these combat helicopters seven they made it so it's plus one and they they are using uh, i think one of their air point three and uh, no modifiers, no modifiers, so they get plus one. Okay, that's all. And next, uh, do we have any other modifiers? I have light infantry attacking in the urban hex, so it is minus one. But this is different formation, so it's also plus one. <laughs> and, and I think that's all. Hope I didn't forget anything. So let's make a roll. Oh, good. One plus one. It's two. It is oh, minus one, minus one. So each side suffers one step loss. This brigade is eliminated. And, well, North Korea lost because they failed to make this uh, unit to uh, retreat. If I would be able to make it to retreat, I would be able to size this hex and maybe clear it later. But well, that's not. And finally, another combat. We have uh, 4, 8 and 12 against 1. So it's 12 to 1 in the uh, Highland. So it is 8 to 1, we can't get more. And now uh, let's for check for modifiers. South Korea is using one uh, air point. Oh, sorry. First column shifts. Uh, we are attacking into DMZ, into fortifications, so we get mine, uh, one, my plus, uh, sorry, plus two. All these units have four, they have on, only also four, so it's nothing. And that's all. So now, so now first air point, two, Uh, no airfields, no uh, uh, mechanized units, so I think uh, this two was enough. No, this is an A board. So no air points for North Korea. And as for South, uh, sorry, for South Korea. And they are call calling for combat helicopters. No, nothing. Okay, uh, so no air stuff. Uh, we got plus one because of this DMZ and that's all. No light infantry, uh, no any other funny stuff like that. It is five plus one so it's six. Minus one and retreat. So they are eliminated by all means and uh, they were uh, they were about to be to retreat but they were eliminated instead. So, I can only take this hex because it was Highland hex, so that's all. I cannot go any further. So, this concludes uh, uh, North Korea attacks. Uh, South Korea is still defending, although uh, they suffered very heavy losses and uh, we have only two weakened divisions. But they managed to uh, keep all the hexes of Seoul free from the enemy forces. So uh, it is uh, 
It is a victory of uh, uh, Allied player, despite it was a very costly victory, you can tell by the number of units. Of course, uh, North, North Korea paid the price as well, but these are mostly light infantry forces. You can see that almost uh, all of the uh, South Co North Korea infant light infantry units were eliminated in this four days battle, while North Co uh, South Korea lost uh, many of its uh, best uh, divisions. So, very bloody combat. And this is very true for uh, this, this entire game. This is a game where uh, divisions and brigades are disappearing very, very quickly. Uh, so, uh, like I said before, this is not the best game to start. It it has its own uh, unique climate, which makes it very different from uh, all the other North uh, Next War games. Uh, but uh, this is a game uh, when you uh, destroy a lot of enemy units uh, and you suffer the same losses. So it it can be quite frustrating. <laughs> Uh, I have to say, but it can be funny as well, of course, if you like playing such a big games. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, play. I might return to this game later because it has a couple of, a couple, uh, uh, of, of small scenarios and, and of course it has uh, these three huge scenarios that would take me forever to record. I I'm thinking that someday I might try to record uh, the campaign, but not in this way like uh, I recorded this scenario, rather showing you what happened day after day. I think this is the only way I could make a video about playing this entire huge game. But well, that's the distant future. Uh, as for today, thank you for watching and see you next time.